Excuse me. What is this? I believe it's a Merlot, sir. Merlot. No. I don't think so. Um... You see, well, it's all about the quality of the grape, the aroma it creates, and, and, and how it's made. You, you can't just, you know, put it in a bottle and, and, and then expect us all to drink it, right? Hmm? If it was a Merlot, I would expect, um, well, rose, violet, currants, plum, black cherry. There's no, there's no complexity to it, there's no balance, it's, um, and I, I won't have an emotional response to it. Do you know what I mean? Victor Adrian? <laughs> you better shake it up. I'm Alan like Farragut at the CDC. He's off. Huh. Okay, Gordon. Hey. I was watching that. I... What do I get out of it? Excuse me? Quid pro quo. I scratch your back. You scratch mine. You understand each other? What is it you want? First. I'm gonna call off the guards, because I've been taking a shit without a chaperone for the last six days. Second, I want to be first in line, out of this hellhole when the cavalry arrives. Clear about the marketing. Patients have to stick to the schedule. One pill a day, rise and sunshine. Mm -hmm. That's right. Follow the label, you won't get addicted. We'll introduce evidence to the contrary. Well, sure, there are exceptions, just like with any drug. But our warnings were big and clear. There was no small print. We were transparent. Crush it and snort it. You're creating addicts. Do you realize that now? Look, that makes no sense at all. We told people not to abuse the drug. So you knew it could be abused? Any drug could be abused. Did you think it was likely to be abused? No. Hell no. We would no idea there were going to be addiction issues. You're still... Now, Kathleen is a believer, and so am I. That means when we're together, well, <laughs> time flies. When do you plan to leave Mascouche? I was due to leave Mascouche today, but... Kathleen asked me to stay a little longer in Mascouche. I want to visit what you people call the crime scene. That way I can validate that this is what we think it is. A UFO abduction. And folks, here's a fact I want you all to remember today. The vast majority of abductions end just fine. But why was Benoit so fascinated by this phenomenon? Well... That's because his very own wife, Kathleen, was kidnapped by extraterrestrial visitors on January 24th, 2001. <laughs> now, in the next few days, Benoit's body will be released from the morgue. But we intend to examine the remains to establish whether or not it is his body or that of a clone duplicate. Why is this out of the room? Have you found a scientific explanation for it? Like, is it for them? Uh, no, we think it's for us. The air doesn't seem to circulate inside the chamber, so after about two hours, we run out of oxygen. And 15, you got any new intel? Yeah, we've been playing back some of their uh, sounds. Where does that get you? Well, they play audio back at us from an unseen source. Audio of what? Uh, it's bits of conversation from the room, uh, random clips of dialogue. Really, we, we have nothing. So how'd you know about the grapefruit? The stab wounds? When I found out about Carol, I called the police in Riverside and they put me in contact with the coroner and he, he sent me this letter with, with all the details of how she died. The Riverside coroner's office sent you a letter. Yeah. And where is it? It's in the top drawer by the kitchen sink. Made uh, quite a meal out of that, didn't you? Yes, it needed to look convincing. Well, you asked for 12 million, I gave you 12 million. Thank you. This never happened. Understood? Of course. <laughs> the diplomats from all around the world are arriving here today at the Hotel Royale. It's a historic day as the uh, official ending of United States military involvement in Vietnam. Yesterday, the Paris Peace Summit was rocked by the appearance of unidentified assailants. The likes of which the world has never seen. Mass hysteria has gripped the nation as people ask, where did they come from? Will they be back? And most importantly, are they friend or foe? That was London What happens now? 
Clay Roos has gone to jail for a long time. No, I mean with me. What happens to me? Well, you did hold up your end of the bargain. I did? Yeah. A couple of days before your attack, you came to me and said you knew who killed the mayor and you could prove it. I knew I was being investigated by internal affairs. Yeah, we'd question you and Derek. We knew we still couldn't prove anything, but you said you wanted to, you know, set things right. Cut a deal. So Ingrid was my leverage. Yeah, what you were asking for wasn't exactly something I could write up on a cocktail napkin, so you put her on high ground in the meantime. And now it's time for Famous Britons, the show in which Jack Worthing, that's me, interviews some of our most celebrated countrymen. Today, we have in our studio His Majesty King George III. Your Majesty, how are you feeling today? Mad, really? Well, is it us who's mad, or is it the entire world? Oh, no, Jack, no, 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 it's me, absolutely me. <laughs> Do you know, in fact, um, it's got to my attention, some of my uh, subjects affectionately refer to me as a uh, Mad King George. <laughs> Still... <laughs> You accomplished quite a bit in your reign, didn't you? Yes, I have, Jack, and I'm glad to talk about some of the more serious things of my reign. I grew smashing carrots. Really did. In fact, I was known as Farmer George. But those damned rabbits, Jack! Always eating my carrots. You beat the French. And you know, in those days, they weren't even always orange. No, 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 no. They were mostly sort of red and white and uh, sometimes, sometimes beige. The French? No, Jack. The carrots! <laughs> Do try to keep up, man. But the French, yes, we did beat them twice, sadly. And, um, well, you, you're famous for giving the Americans their liberty, eh? Oh, Jack. Those pesky Americans. <laughs> Any idiot can grow vegetables in the New World. You just chop down a tree and there's your farm. I mean, try doing that in the plot of land that's been found for 2,000 years. Ha! Ah, good luck to you, man. But, Jack, the damned rabbits were always eating my lettuce. Well, you do sound a little upset. But I'm mad! I'm absolutely mad! Mad King George, barking! Have you tried joy? Joy? What's that? Well, it's this marvellous pill that makes you forget everything and think of all the wonderful things in life. Well, I wish I'd had some of that. I might not have gone quite so mad. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. His Majesty King George III. If only he'd had joy. He might not have gone mad at all. Ask your doctor if joy is right for you. <laughs> of course it's right for you. Next week on Famous Britons, I'll be interviewing King Arthur. Do you know he's planning a comeback? Well, I'm afraid we've come to the end of our time. Tune in later for more Uncle Jack. <laughs>